the 2013 Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, the recipient of this award this year is Dr. James H. Bird Yazar, or Bird as we all know him. Um, <laughs> I do not know of a student athlete that does not know him. I don't know of a student that probably should know of him. Uh, if you had asked me back when I was a freshman who Bird was, I would have told you he was the president of this university. <laughs> Please direct your attention to the screen and let's hear more about Bird. James, better known as Bird to teammates, colleagues, friends, students, faculty, and staff, was a pretty darn good track athlete. He was on championship teams, was an individual and team winner, and recognized for those accomplishments. He was an active and involved student, serving in leadership roles in both the Associated Black Students and Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. But as good of an athlete that Bert was, he is an even better person. Being recognized with the Lifetime Achievement Award for the ISU Sports Hall of Fame is much more than athletic accomplishments. Since ending his ISU track career, he has maintained a working relationship with the university as well as mentor for students and student athletes for many, many years. He has served in many professional roles at ISU, from counselor, advisor, to director of TRIO programs, to associate dean of students, and now to his current position as associate director at the Student Success Center. Bird has assisted many at-risk students and athletes to continue their educational journey and has developed many programs to connect students with the local community, many that are still being utilized by both the university and surrounding communities. The leadership skills he learned as a student and that he has honed as a professional continue to serve him well. Bird has served as president of the local NAACP and the Centennial Rotary Club. He's been recognized two times by Alpha Kappa Psi as the advisor of the year. He's the recipient of the Pocatello Mayor's Human Relations Committee's Humanitarian Award and the Pocatello and NAACP Ron Timpson Award for Community Service. As his good friend Ed Thompson says, quote, Bird has always been a true leader, a team player, and a true friend, end quote. It is with great pride that we present Dr. James H. Bird Geisar, Jr., with the Lifetime Achievement Award for the ISU Sports Hall of Fame. Casey knows me, so she said, uh, Bird, you got about two to three minutes. So I said, I'm going to write something down because if I start talking and doing the free mouth, we'd be here probably to game time. So, um, wow. This is close. First of all, I'd like to take five seconds, so I want everybody to bow their heads in remembrance for my Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you. I'm a different kind of bird, kind that flies to the tune of Motown. We often remember others, but not him as we should in everything we do and achieve. Next, I would like to thank my father and my mother, 
James Sr. and Gladys, who raised my sisters, Fiolias, Latanya, and Levon, and me to have humility, commitment, <coughs> determination, desire, passion, empathy, honor, competitive spirit, integrity, and to wake up each day determined to do more than we did the day before. Next, I would like to recognize my wife, Joanna, who has been by my side, who has laughed with me, cried with me, prayed with me, played with me, competed against me, <laughs> taught me, listened to me, dressed me. Well, the, the brother can't dress. <laughs> She has a tendency to pick out some good stuff from time to time. <laughs> Fed me, starved me when needed, <laughs> medicated me, rehabbed me, chauffeured me, and most importantly, loved me daily for 11,415 days and counting. <laughs> The second most important thing Joanna did was giving birth to two beautiful daughters, Jamise, two sports soccer and basketball, freshman student at the College of Idaho, and Jay Lynn, a soccer player and 4.0 GPA junior student at Highland High School. Dad loves you very much, and I hope that the lesson that my parents instilled in me that I effectively passed them on to you to grow up with humility, integrity, competitive spirit, passion for what you do, and to wake up each day with the goal to be better than you were yesterday. Also, by the end of this weekend, I want to know the years and days 11,415 are. <laughs> Because, as usual, homework never stops in the Izar house. Next, in honor of the black American culture, we give nicknames to people we care about to show them respect and to honor them. Therefore, I want to quickly take some, take some time and thank some individuals for their guidance and steadfast patience in my journey as a man a husband, a father, an educator, crisis manager, problem solver, and leader. Mr. Leonard Buddy Frazier, who we call Pops. Cole Pender, Mr. Ram Eddings, who I call the advisor. Cole Pender, Mr. Ed Thompson, who we call Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Anthony Young, who I call Rooney. Mr. Vince Tulock, who I call Kid. Dr. David Kennedy, who I call the Spartan. Reverend Jacqueline Thomas, who, who I call the pastor of Soin Sojuni. And that's with two E's in person, but a tall drink of water when she's not around. There's <laughs> got to be black to understand that. Miss <laughs> Leela Liggins, who we call the godmother of Pokey. Mr. Dave Ayara, who we call the boss man. And Mr. Roland Thompson, who we call Ro. To each of you, thank you for the talks, the lessons and mentorship which prepared me for the honor I am receiving today. I'm very, very 
appreciative of what you did to help me. Thank you. Next, I want to thank all my schoolmates, track mates, fraternity brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi, Fraternity Incorporated, yo. <laughs> Family members, politicians, community leaders, colleagues, numerous friends, and all the students that I have worked with and mentored for the last 35 years who are able to be here and those not able to attend today. The students are the reason that I wake up each day prepared to do better than I did yesterday. Dr. Bayless, I've always said if you work at ISU, it should be mandatory that you attend graduation each year. Because it's at graduation that I'm reminded why I do. Why I do what I do. At graduation, I see that student who came into my office and said, Tell me again for the 100th time what I was supposed to do. <laughs> or many other statements like that. But at graduation, when my tank is a little empty, and I see that student on stage, walking across the stage, walking to the president, and shaking the president's hand, and grabbing that diploma cover, and later on, they come and find me, and they say, Dr. Birdman, thank you. My tank starts to fill up again. And that's when I know that I have to be better tomorrow than I am today. In closing, thank you to doctors Arthur and Laura Vavis, to the vice presidents, the deans, to department chairs, to directors, faculty, and staff members for allowing me to find ways to help our students be successful. Thank you to the alumni office and KC and her staff for their wonderful work and tireless efforts with everything that they do. And finally, thank you to the ISU Hall of Fame Committee and members for, excuse me, thank you to the Hall of Fame Committee and members for selecting the 2013 inductees. Ed, Nancy, Kelly, Jackie, And especially for the Lifetime Achievement Award winner, the Birdman. <laughs> Great choice. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you, one. And a special thank you to those ladies that are up there on the back row, our ISU Big Sky softball team, and head coach Julie Wright for being here this afternoon. Thank you, one, and thank you all. And the Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Dr. James Izar. Supporting ISU students and athletes alike is where his true calling is. 
Bird is currently the Associate Director of the ISU Student Success Center. He has created programs that are used at many universities and colleges to prepare students to achieve success in the classroom, on the field of play, and in their life pursuits. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the 2013 class.